Dr. Elvin Riboflavin was there on that historic occasion, and now, over 20 years later, he discusses that eventful day with us. I think the first thing that occurred to me was the fact that the fly had two heads. I had never seen that before, sort of new to me. And it occurred to me later that evening that if a fly had two heads, as it were, it could eat twice as much. It's been very exciting work, very fulfilling. I can't think of anything as rewarding to me as working with the uh, working with the dris, the dross, the fruit fly. Man's only hope of attaining victory over the scourge of the fruit fly lies in the full utilization of our scientific resources. Ironically, the same mother nature that created the destructive capabilities of the fruit fly equipped man with tools for their undoing. We spoke once more with Dr. Leiberflavin as to the course technology has taken. Where does the answer lie in fighting these flies, Doctor? Sterilization. The key here is sterilization. If they stop having babies, pretty soon there won't be any more flies. It's that simple? Well, no, there are problems. The pills are very tiny, and they're hard to administer, and they do forget to take them sometimes. And, well, yes, we've had complaints about the side effects, uh, morning sickness, uh, dizziness, uh, headaches. But we're making progress, I'm very hopeful. 